hello to my cancers all right cancers let's get into it let's see what's in your cards let's see what this week looks like for you all let's see what this week looks like for my cancers talking to you wherever cancers in your birth chart this video is for the 26th of august to the second happy last quarter moon right happy last quarter moon that's right i'm gonna finish out this cycle strong by just becoming a better humanitarian hopefully you all journaled you know um it it, it may say the land what is it uh waxing gibbous moon <clears throat> excuse me waning gibbous moon so this is where you're banishing hexes and curses and all of those things right you say okay i became i'm coming becoming a better human being plus i'm breaking generational cycles chains and curses right so i got work to do <laughs> I got work to do. I can't I don't have time to be sitting around waiting for, you know, who's judging you, right? So here we have the Queen of Swords here. Here we have the Knight of Wands. Here we have the Queen of Wands. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and also the Seven of Cups, right? So I see you sitting on your throne carefully vetting your thoughts. I do. And I, and I see you, in, you know, just staying away from energies that have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior, or energies who are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. I see something has gotten you really, really focused. And that's how you're going to save yourself. Like you're inspired now. You feel happy. You feel charismatic. You feel free. You're staying away from energies who like to compare themselves to you. You know? Like you, you know what I'm saying? Cancer is like the energies that's like, you rather be around people who are helping you to adjust your crown. When you feel inspired and motivated. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like sometimes... You get a, a phone call from a friend, and you actually, you're excited. You're like, okay, they say, let's go out for tea or something like that. You're excited to talk to them. But then there's certain other people you talk to, you like, I, I, I feel like I've outgrown this. <laughs> I, I feel like I've outgrown this. It, it just, it's just, it, you're not even looking forward. You just feel like burned out. You feel confused, all that. So some kind of a new partnership is forming here. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be aligning yourself with somebody who are already in, you know, making at least eight streams of income or they're headed in that direction. Like somebody, because you have at least eight streams of income in you and source is trying to make you financially independent. So your water is moving. This is the seven of cups. Remember, water is shaped and guided by the earth that surround, holds and surrounds it. So it, it matters who you're around. If you're around people who are constantly you know, comparing other people. Oh, this person is prettier. This person is more handsome. They got more money. They got a bigger house. They got a, they like determining other people's worth. Here's a, I'm just, okay. This person looks like they lost weight. This person looks like they gained weight. This person, did you see who they were dating? I mean, like, come on. Now. Is it a competition? So somebody says, you know what? The scales have been removed from your eyes. And you're really starting to really, really embrace cancer energy the fact that you all are really like home you're all are homebodies right you like being in that crab shell and so somebody is really increasing their knowledge um in something and just creating additional streams of income getting away from mirroring spirits um who um who try to dehumanize people you know it's like oh, they they're not good enough they're not worthy they're not this and that like you're so over that right now. It's just like, what? You're in a, just in a different headspace. That's all I can say. You're just in a much different headspace. For you, for real, it's like, I'm getting away from people who cannot be happy for other people. I just, I need to get away from that. I'm moving towards multiple streams of income. That's you. So, sources, sources like, keep putting some money. So, it, something is tempting. Two situations have, you know, been very tempting. You know, two energies have been very tempting that have caused you to, because they've been comparing you, whether they're comparing your parenting skills or your, uh, you know, who's the better niece and nephew, who's the better sister or brother, who's the better. Like, after, I, I can't even really get it out, Cancer, because it's just so, <laughs> at this point, it's so beneath you. It's just not even funny. Like, who was the better ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend? Who was the better parent? Who was the better? It's... it's Somebody should be just drained at this point. So somebody has had an awakening about two situations. So somebody has had an awakening, just like, okay, I need to stay away from that, you know. But but there's always somebody who struck a match, you know, somebody who struck a match. And so I see financial independence there 
Um, somebody started all of that, right? So, yeah, you're no longer distracted. You know, you even left the circus behind. Somebody created a bunch of distractions. It's just like... So you feel changed, liberated, and free. <laughs> That's all I can say, Cancer. You just feel free. You're just like, okay, I'm leaving the circus behind. I don't have it. That, I can bring out the clowns for distractions. I just don't have time for it. You know, I just don't have time. I feel like somebody was like really, really trying to break somebody. You know, like really trying to break, you know, like you break a horse in or whatever. Like somebody's trying to break somebody. Um... You know, with a bunch of distractions, talking about they're familiar with this, they're familiar with that. They have this, um, um, just, a, just a real toxic, just real poisonous environment. Just a really, really poisonous environment. And um, <clears throat> I, just, I just don't see you wanting to be around those types of people anymore. Here we have the Queen of, um, the queen of Pentacles. I feel like you want, to, you want to be around people who are down to earth, relatable. <laughs> You know, Cancer, I just feel like because you all are down to earth, relatable, and like on this card, it doesn't have the white rabbit. Like somebody wants to be around people who like uh, encourage you to take a quantum leap into your own future. Like, okay, see what else is out there. Like really just kind of sort of expand your mind, open your mind. What else is out there? I feel like you want to be around those types of energies. Like you really, really want to... Somebody's more encouraged to be around people who are more creative, you know, and less, you know, master manipulations. So, so there could be a man who's a master manipulator, you know, who could have been master manipulating the whole situation. As far as you're concerned, you cool, calm, and collected. You learn, you know how to manipulate your own emotions. You're compassionate. You have you have compassion for people who are still connected to clown behavior. You know, people who are, when I say clown, I'm about just distraction. When I say clown, I'm not calling a person a clown. You know, clown behavior, like creating a bunch of distractions. Like, you just, you're over it. You're absolutely over it. So, that's why I say you're sitting on your throne, just carefully vetting some things. Something has really put you in a different headspace. You feel changed, liberated, and free. Matter of fact, that planet Uranus, which is the full card, um, is going retrograde September 1st. So, it's going to give you an opportunity to slow yourself down and think about how you can liberate yourself um, from energies that are ruthless, energies who have an issue with financial independence, who have an issue with, you know, they got to compare how they've created their life versus some, it's always a versus for them, like how other people create it. It's just exhausting. <laughs> Looking at it in the car, it's just exhausting, child. It's just exhausting. But your third eye is open, right? Your third eye is now open. And basically, you, you've gotten your magic glasses. Like, you see things that you did not see before. Like, you're, you've earned your magic glasses. You may have heard that in a spiritual sense. But your third eye is open. And now that you've earned those magic glasses and just how people, you know, can be, you know, constantly comparing somebody else to somebody you're starting to see how it feels on the receiving end when it comes to maybe your head and heart being at war with each other, somebody else's head and heart at war with being around ruthless energies that's trying to compare you. I feel like somebody now where you are on your journey of, um, yeah, here's a death card. Something just felt like a scorpion sting to you. Mm-hmm. Something just felt like a scorpion sting to you. Something just felt very venomous, you know, to somebody. And, um, like somebody accumulated so much deep-seated, um, rage and, um, toxicity, like, you know, like, you know, like drinking, hanging out, just absorbing all kinds of just, this is like they could just take all the toxicity and we're creating a bunch of. <sighs> so, yeah, you and somebody don't even want to be associated with those types of spirits because they are living above their means and they're masking all of that with just like keeping up with the Joneses. You don't even want to be associated with that. It's you and somebody saying, y'all don't want to be, y'all would rather be independent of that. 
you and somebody. So whoever you and somebody, y'all, y'all are both leaving that kind of stuff behind. That circus behavior, those distractions. When we think about circus, we think about wild animals, like people who just like they have. They it's like they they just impulsively just do stuff like animals. They don't even. So if somebody's gonna feel like they have a whole new lease on life. You have new money coming across your path. If somebody's gonna feel like they have a whole new lease on life moving forward. Yeah. So it's just saying you're good enough, you're worthy, always have been. Somebody can have Virgo in their birth chart. Remember, Virgo is um Virgo is um ruled by Mercury, right? And so Mercury is retrograde until I wanna say I wanna say let's say I believe I, I wanna believe I, I wanna say it's until the twenty eighth of August where you more messages are coming through just in how you can become a better human being and come away from this not you know thinking that knowing that you are good enough that you're worthy to be independent of being connected to something like physical existence of something like organizations you know that you're <clears throat> you're worthy of detaching you and somebody are worthy of detaching yourselves from a circus yeah family, organization, you know, certain people, places, and things. That deals with the physical exit. People who are masking something. Like, they live and beyond their means. They just, like, us, just immature when it comes to the energy of money. Somebody's just like, you only want to be connected. At a certain, after a certain point, it's exhausting. Just to even think about it. So, somebody has some good news coming across their path, and... It's time to preserve it. Like really protect that good news coming across your path and no, not go around people who are, oh, look, I got this. <laughs> and they're like, oh, really? <laughs> you got some new money? Hmm. Let's see how much that is. What can we do with that? All of a sudden, you everybody's new friend, right? When they've been masking that for a whole time, you know, been masking that, that, uh, masking something, um, so, yeah, so here we have 8-2. So you and somebody are creating a new legacy together. That's what it is. You and somebody, the part of your legacy is that you don't want to be around people who are trying to keep up with the Joneses. It's a whole lifestyle, you know, with that, keeping up with this, keeping up with that. Like, you and somebody have made a decision. No, we like down-to-earth, relatable people. We're trying to find new ways of making money. We're trying to invest. We're trying to do this and that. We don't want to be connected to those, just people who are wearing masks. We don't want to be connected to that. We don't want to be a part of that culture of energies, right? So I definitely feel like somebody's head and heart are no longer at war with each other. So we have the three of swords here, and you're moving on from some disappointments. You and somebody. Here we have the knight of swords here, definitely moving on from some kind of disappointment. Blindfolds are now off. Blindfolds are off, 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 off. Somebody's like, I don't want to be a part of certain things where, where energies are just ruthless. Here we have the wheel of fortune, and you're going to feel very fortunate. So it's the same. Some unexpected changes are happening, but for the good. Here we have the two of pentacles here. Um, yep. Yeah. So again, source is restoring some kind of balance, healthy work life balance, you and somebody. So here we have Knight of Pentacles here. And so, again, a very hardworking person. You're a very hardworking person. And Source is restoring some kind of balance here. So that's how people save themselves. You're saving yourself by changing your thoughts. And you're also saving yourself by changing the fact that, you know, you're a hardworking person, right? So instead of somebody trying to break you or break other people by being familiar spirits, and trying to gossip and get a whole bunch of mess started. And I got to collect information on people. And I got to know this and that. And so all of this, somebody's saying they don't want to be a part of, they don't want to be a part of some kind of a circus. They don't want to have anything to do with something. So here we have the three of wands here. So you're taking a leap of faith. Yep, you're taking a leap of faith. And when I look at your cards here, there's some kind of um, homecoming happening here. Um, but there's some kind of something you're saying is not your responsibility to carry that, you know, it's just not your responsibility. Something is like, it's not your responsibility to carry something material, you know, just like a belief system or something like some kind of 
it's like a it's like a dark spell has been put over somebody like be, carrying a belief system you know um of like keeping up with an image somebody that's the spell somebody's breaking it's like it's not you know, that's not something you would pass down to your kids. If you have kids or don't have kids, that's not something that you would pass down to anybody. Because trying to keep up with an image, you know, has broken a lot of people. So here we have the four of wands here. So again, you and somebody are on the same sheet of music. Both of y'all are saying the same thing. Like we need to stay away from certain types of energies. We need to stay away from type certain types of energies. They like to compete, compare, judge people, all of this other stuff. Somebody's saying you only want to be a part of something. So good for you. Yep, good for you. Let's see what else we got going on here. So yeah, so you're gonna feel the wheel of fortune came out. You're gonna feel very fortunate. You have a um Somebody definitely has a guardian angel that's helping you to where well, you feel. I don't know if luck would be the word, but somebody definitely feels fortunate. Somebody definitely feels fortunate to have a guardian angel that's really just kind of helping you to be more meticulous, like really pay attention to detail and see that you don't want to be connected to other people's drama. That's what that's what it really boils down. You want to be you don't want to be a part of in somebody else's circus. So. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> two of Pentacles again. So we got two of Pentacles came out three times here, which lets me know that somebody is you and somebody are gonna be making sure your calendars are booked. Booked and busy. Like from the time you wake up, whatever you got you got something to do. Because again, that idle time, that idle time is when people are able to come in and just like I said, put some kind of dark spell on people. And so that's what somebody's learning how to teach other people is like, make sure your calendar is full. If you don't have anything to do, like I said, take a nap, read a book, do something that's going to relate, listen to water sounds, anything that's going to keep people out of a circus situation. So um, here we have the seven of cups coming out again. So you got seven, seven, seven. So you have triple things here going on. So you got seven, seven, seven. So somebody is learning how to be in the flow of sources flow, not other people's flow because of who you known the longest or like connection in a physical sense, like people, places, and things. You're learning how to keep your vibrations high. But somebody said, somebody has moved on from, um, from some past disappointments in your own life of being burned and frustrated, you know, just leaving behind a bunch of distractions. So, yeah. <clears throat> yep. So here we have the Knight of Pentacles. And like I said, you know, people, people see how hard you work, you know, somebody like trying to, you know, break somebody you know, break somebody financially in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Somebody's like, they don't want to be a part of that because it's something that somebody has seen before. You know, it's like somebody being bullied about and like what people will do when it comes to money and how they will try to break people and how ruthless some people are when they're breaking people. Like break, like, you know, um, like what's the word that's coming to me? Here we have the um, Ace of Cups here. Yeah. And, um, So, like I said, you got some good news coming across your path. Um, but your head and heart are no longer at war with each other when it comes to certain things. Somebody's like, they don't want to be a part of something. Yep. You don't want to be a part of something. Creating nightmares for people. So somebody said they would rather have, um, you know, somebody is, you know, somebody is moving on from some kind of past disappointment and some love coming your way, new relationships, compassion, creativity. So somebody has an overflow of compassion now on the rebirth side, especially when you're dealing with people who don't feel like they're good enough. They don't feel like they're worthy, you know, like you're helping people to kind of sort of 
you know, invest in themselves and whatever life they want to create for themselves. Because that's what you're doing, too. So in that regard, you would be kind of like the guardian angel for people, too. Right. So people will feel lucky to have you or fortunate to have you in their lives. So that's what I'm saying for you all. That's what I'm saying for you all. So um, I feel like you're going where you're appreciated and not where you're just tolerated. But something had to start with just being in very toxic environments where people are constantly comparing people, trying to break people, you know, break people financially, trying to do all kinds of stuff to hurt people. Somebody had to get away from, you know, just being even connected to those types of people. Sometimes, I mean, depending on, you know, what circus it is, if it's a job, you, sometimes you don't know that until you walk in on some conversation and be like, oh, that's what they're about? Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, I saw this video on YouTube with this woman. She re she retired from the CIA, and she said one day her 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 boss was not in the office, and he had a package on her desk. She would usually like read, you know, usually um, he would read whatever packages, but something she's like something told me to look in it. <laughs> of course, there's something told her to look in the package, right? She said, and she saw that they had done something, like created some kind of war somewhere, you know. And she was just like, I don't want to be a part of something. I don't. She and she, and I think that's the day she decided, you know. And and instead of her manager saying to her or her boss, whoever it is, but instead of him saying to her, um, um, instead of her, you know, saying like basically, um. Um, you know, the manager or the boss, whoever he was, saying to her, you know, oh, you know, like, I understand, you know, but explain it, whatever. His only comeback was, when you get older, you'll understand. Like, she says she knew from that, she was like, she didn't want to be a part of it, you know, anymore. So, it's on, it's on YouTube, just so you know. It's on YouTube. It's basically, like, talking about... Um, uh, wearing, um, you know, the magic glasses. So in those magic glasses, like basically once you see something, you can't unsee it. You don't want to unsee it at that point, you know, so keep moving forward. Um, yeah. So create the change that you want. Um, somebody wants to call you, but they haven't, they have not changed. Your next love interest will make you happier. Whoever this is, um, somebody wants the best for you, but somebody was dealing with a, somebody who was a succubus, which is a um, sex demon, or, or it's overtaken by a sex demon. You are protected and loved. Take your time to decide. Um, somebody wants the best for you. Um, somebody has a demon of envy, right? So they, they when they end, they want to collect, they like, they control people. Um, so adjust your crown. Third eye chakra cleanse. Like I said, somebody's magic glasses are now on. You can't unsee certain things. Don't look back. Time to toss some things into a burning bowl. Trying to do a sacral chakra cleanse, but make room for a new blessing. You deserve the best. New love awaits for somebody. Get some fresh air. And of course, and then your ancestors are proud of you. But of course, we're talking about people who are, um, of course, we're talking about people who are, you know, single and want to find somebody. You, of course, if you're with somebody, you marry. We didn't talk about that, but. Somebody has new love. Somebody, according to the cards, somebody has new love. Yeah, somebody, um, like I said, somebody is just, they, they are ruthless. They don't, yeah. They, um. They they have a, a spirit that basically like if it's to the death of them they'll get somebody back. That's the type of spirit somebody is dealing with. To the to the end of them they'll get somebody back. And so it's something you're saying you don't even want to be connected to energies like that. Because they don't care how they get at somebody. They don't care if they get at somebody's family, you know, something that somebody has created. You know, their physical existence of things, their money, their property. Like, when I say somebody is dealing with some, some energies that's just like, they have this deep-seated, like, they're so toxic. It's like they're just reeking with toxicity. And, um, 
Yeah. Yep, 18, honey. The sweetness of you swells and the grace of your pull also beautifully lethal. Yep. Somebody could be, like I said, somebody could just be lethal. Somebody could have light eyes. Look on this right here. Yep. Somebody could be into some stuff. So... Protect your energy. Protect your energy. Protect your energy. Cancer, protect your energy. Protect your energy. I am strong. I am strong. Yeah. Protect your energy. So I don't know who that's for, but somebody, um, You have a guardian angel that's watching over you, helping to be a lot more meticulous and pay attention to physical existence of things. So gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Fourteen, I am practical. So you are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you're wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. Fourteen. One and four is five. So it's definitely a turning point, you know, for somebody in their lives. Um, but I feel like your schedule is going to be, you know, like I said, back to back to back. And I feel like it's that idle time, you know, that idle time being a devil's workshop. And I feel like that's something you're going to be passing down to other people, you know, passing that so that they're not out there just kind of being compared to or, you know, tempted to just be kind of so you know like this person on the card they just out there right you know being uh, approached by master manipulators or being manipulated in some way shape form or fashion and don't even know it right so um you like i said you got some good news coming across your path you and somebody have some good news coming across your path and it's like overwhelming with compassion like you know towards something and um like i said seven 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 um Yeah, it's a it's a lot going on with this. But that is what I have for you, um, Cancers. That is what I have for you. Um let's see if there's anything else. I saw that channeling card. So you could be, you know, you could be picking up other people's channels too. Like loved ones. You could be picking up on their channel and kinda of like what they're going through. Um which could be forcing somebody to take the blindfolds off. That's right. Divine masculine to divine feminine energy. Uh, so that's what I have for you. Uh, that's what I have for you. Somebody is um, in that divinity within is going to help balance somebody out on the other side. Um, but that's what I have for you, Cancers. Thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, somebody is getting real focused after moving on from some deep disappointments um, that you may have spent a lot of time in, but somebody's getting real focused, right? Taking the blindfolds off. That is what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.